of this year, football season. Smell the crisp fall air and hear the student section rumble under the Friday night lights. See the black jerseys color our home field with pride and feel your frigid hands as you try and muster out your loudest chants and cheers. Now, blink. Here we are. High school graduation. That one day that always seemed so far away, but now has arrived faster than ever imagined. We now, actually, officially, have to grow up. We will be free from those rules that have shaped who we are, but nonetheless, a part of growing up that we will not miss. We'll have responsibilities that will scare us, and we'll have to have faith in our choices without looking to others to make decisions for us. The most startling realization is that we will have to leave what is familiar. As you sit among those around you, look at your friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, ex-friends, near strangers, and acquaintances. Regardless of how you identify with the senior class, remember that it is ours. In these past four years, everyone has found some sort of niche that gave them a place in Troy High Hall. Be it quizzical or athletic, DECA or purely academic, there has been opportunity for growth in each of us. Realistically though, not everyone truly finds their calling in high school. There are those of us that have allowed the voices in our own heads and the voices from others to keep them from branching out. Maybe you saw a sign for the musical child and simply walked away because it was too much of a risk. Perhaps you didn't join the yearbook because you didn't think that you could live up to its expectations. However we justify our decisions not to try something, they end today. Right now, those voices are silent. We will proceed to search for who we are and who we want to be, but we now have the experience and the knowledge to realize the value of opportunity and grab a hold of it. In this next phase of our lives, we will fail as many times as we succeed. The key, though, is to take the risk. If we look at our own class, we see Morgan Fisher, who has combined a passion for music and charity and has created not only the amazing band of for Africa, but a working example of what confidence and drive can create. We then have Sean Cunningham, who has followed his lifelong love, soccer, to Norway and shows us that with great opportunity comes great sacrifice. The only avenue for growth is to venture into the unknown, but our past experiences tell us that the unfamiliar is frightening. In a world where there is so much to be done, it is our job to ignore our fears and use our talents to improve this planet of endless possibilities. Howard Thurman once said, don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. Let's challenge ourselves to deviate from the social norm and silence the doubt and negativity that surrounds us and comes from within. Listen to your heart and use your head. Because in the end, you are the one who has to live with what you have or haven't done. At this time, whatever you're thinking or feeling, put it on pause for a second. Stop your mind from wandering into the past or the future, and be here now. Troy High Class of 2011, Blake, the world needs us to come alive. <laughs>